Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. So today I have this Eid makeup look for everyone who is celebrating. I asked on my Twitter whether you guys would like to see an Eid makeup look and if you guys had any color suggestions and the colors blue, black and silver came up a lot which is why I decided to go with this color theme. You can switch the colors around to suit your outfit but if you'd like to see how to get this makeup look then please keep watching. First up, I'm moisturizing my skin with this Giorgio Armani Prima Glow On Balm. This basically has a beat it for me. I do not use my Magic Cream by Charlotte Tilbury anymore. This is amazing. It's not launching, I think, until either August or September. So um, you guys will have to wait for it, but it is incredible. Then I am putting this Lizelle Super Skin Eye Cream on my eyes not on my eyes, on my um, eye bags and then kind of like um, going up into my eyebrows and this is gonna prime the area perfectly for concealer. I really like doing that because my concealer sets amazingly when I put that eye cream on before. Here I'm just priming my skin with the Smashbox Primer and I'm just putting that onto the usual places that I kind of tend to get oily and this is just gonna help the foundation last longer as well. So for foundation, I'm using a mixture of the YSL Le Tente Touche Clat and the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Matte Foundation. And I'm plonking loads of like dots on my face and then blending it all out with my damp beauty blender. This is like my favorite way to still do my foundation. No brush or anything else can beat this for me. Um, and just to make that kind of a lock into place, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, spraying quite a few sprays on my face and then pushing that into my skin as well with the damp beauty blender. And this is just gonna lock everything in place. For concealer, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I'm putting some lines underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, around my mouth, my chin, my cupid's bow, and also kind of where my, underneath my contour would be. And then also taking the Touche Clat Peach Corrector and putting that directly underneath my eyes to get rid of any kind of darkness and blending that all away again with the Damp Beauty Blender as well. And uh, this I just love doing, you guys know the drill. I love highlighting and concealing my face like this. Nothing has changed there. And then I'm taking the RCMA No Color Powder and setting all those areas where we applied the concealer. Now I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I really did not like this when I first used it. I used it with a brush and I did not like the way that it sat on my skin. I think the best way to apply this is with a damp beauty sponge. Then I moved on to my brows, I did them off screen and I'm using the Benefit Air Patrol to prime my eyelids and I'm putting this directly onto my eyelids and this one I clearly has too much on but then I'm just blending it all away and making sure that there's a nice even layer all on my eyelids and also setting that in place with just some like powder that I had nearby. Um, you can use any kind of powder. Moving on to eyeshadow I am using the Artist of Makeup eyeshadow in Glow and these are so incredibly pigmented. They would give Kat Von D eyeshadows a run for their money because I literally had to use the tiniest amount to get any kind of color payoff. So I'm using this shade Glow right underneath my brow bone to give it a really gorgeous highlight before going in with the shade Coco, which is this really cool, um, not cool, but like warm brown tone. And I'm running this into my crease. And this is so pigmented, you guys. I literally touched the tip of the brush into the palette. So um, you wanna go really, really light-handed with these because they are very pigmented. And I'm just building up the color into the crease and then also I'm applying a little bit more into the outer V so that there's a nice blend going on. This whole look was basically inspired by this shade here which is called Fiji and it's such a gorgeous kind of sea blue color that I had to use this. So. I'm using my primer end to kind of create a winged shape and I'm applying that onto the outer third of my eye. And the reason why I like using something like um, like a makeup product to get that kind of sharp line is so that you can kind of like pick it up and see whether or not you need to angle it differently or not. Uh, here I'm just going over the cocoa shade into the crease to make sure that everything's nice and blended and that I'm happy with the way it's looking and adding more Fiji onto the areas where I feel like it needed a bit of a pop 
a blue. Taking Makeup Geek's Corrupt, I am basically going to apply that on to the outer corners again, just to kind of like really the outer corners, because um, I wanted that blue to pop through. And I'm leaving a couple of centimeters space because I'm gonna be smoking out the lower lash line a lot. So you wanna make sure that you've kind of dragged this out. Um, you can kind of see on my lower I um, align that it is kind of going quite further down than my natural eye shape. Um, here I'm just taking a clean fluffy blending brush to make sure everything's nice and blended and that there's no kind of harshness on the eye either. So once I was happy with the way that was looking, I had to go and add some glitter. So here I'm using the Lit Cosmetics glitter in the shade Tinsel Town, and I am just going ahead and packing this onto the inner kind of half of my eyelid, basically where we have no eyeshadow on. And then I'm kind of blending that into the rest of the bluey shades. And I'm working quite slowly with this because I didn't want to kind of have any glitter fallout on my already makeup concealed skin. So just work with this really carefully. Any kind of glitter that you use, you wanna make sure that you work slowly or you can either do your eyes first and then your base afterwards. So once I'm happy with the way that that's all looking, I'm just like doubling up actually here on the areas where I felt like it needed a little bit more glitter. And then I'm just letting that dry before I move on to anything else. Once that is dry, I'm taking my Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner and I'm lining my upper waterline and also my lower waterline because this look is gonna be super smoky and super dramatic. Um, and I wanted both of my waterlines to be very kind of in your face, very, very dark and very intense. Once I had that all sorted, I took some of that correct shade again and I basically packed that on to my lower waterline. And this is basically gonna lock that eyeliner in place and it's not gonna budge all night or all day long. And once I'm done with that, I'm basically taking that same shade and I'm smoking out my lower lash line. I went pretty heavy on this, which is why I had to use a lot of concealer to kind of clean it all up. Um, but you'll see here sooner or later that it doesn't matter if you make any kind of mistakes, you can always go and rectify it. Here I'm just blending out the outer corners to make sure they're nice and seamless and that there's a nice kind of black intensity there. And I'm also dragging that into the corners of my eyes to kind of elongate that. Here I'm taking more of my concealer and just cleaning up underneath my eyes where I felt like it was a little bit too intense for my eyes. I just feel like my eyes wasn't able to handle it. So I'm just basically um, applying some um, concealer on and then blending it all away with my beauty blender as well. Um, and you wanna work quite slowly with this. You can either use a brush if you want to. This is just, I felt like was the easiest way for me because I was filming this very, very late at night. <laughs> um, here I'm taking a brush again and I'm just making sure that I'm happy with the way that it's all looking. And I'm also wiping that brush on my hand every now and again, because you don't want to get that black eyeshadow in areas that you don't want it to be. Once I'm happy with the way it's looking, I'm just making sure I'm giving it a nice blend and make sure I'm happy with it. Now we're gonna move on to eyeliner. I'm using the Maybelline Master Ink Matte Black Eyeliner and I'm lining my upper lash line and also creating a really intense wing. If you guys would like to see an in-depth tutorial of how I do my eyeliner, I will leave a link to it in the info box below for you. Once I'm happy with that, it was time to move on to mascara. Here I'm using the L'Oreal Paris False Lash Telescopic Mascara. I actually feel like I need to get a new one because this one is clearly just, it's like all dried up or something. But I just wanted a good base on my eyelashes before we went and put some falsies on at the end. So it doesn't have to be anything too crazy, just a nice coating of mascara will be more than enough. Um, once I had my mascara on and my eyeliner on, I felt like my lower kind of smoked out eye was still looking a little bit too intense. So I'm taking some concealer from the back of my hand and I'm cleaning that up one more time. It's always crucial to like go back and change and add things to your eyes once you you kind of have your eyeliner and mascara and everything on because it can look different to when you're applying just your eyeshadow. Here I'm taking the Artist of Makeup Contour Stick in the shade Dark and I'm going ahead and I'm contouring the usual parts of my face. Now this looks really warm in the kind of bullet or like the stick, but once it's blended out, it has a perfect mixture of cool and warm undertones to this brown. So really, really loving this. I actually used this brush in my last video and loads of you guys were asking what brush it was and it's actually a L'Oreal Paris brush that came with their kind of contour kit that they launched earlier on this year. It's really, really good. 
Next up, I'm setting everything in place. I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer to kind of set all of the areas where we contoured with a fluffy contour brush. And this one is by Charlotte Tilbury. You can use your favorite contour brush. You don't have to use the same brushes as me. As long as they're similar, you'll get a similar result. And here I'm just contouring my nose very, very slightly and then going over the areas that we contoured with my Beauty Blender to make sure everything's nice and blended as always. For my blush, I used the shade Deep Throat by NARS, and this is a really beautiful shimmery pink color. It's very natural, it's nothing too crazy or too heavy, because the eyes are pretty heavy. I wanted to keep everything else quite clean. Using Starlight Illuminator by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm hitting the tops of my cheeks with this. I seem to always go back to this highlighter. I love this highlighter. I actually think this might be a little bit better than the Glow Kits in my personal opinion. Um, the glow kits are fab, but I just always feel like I don't use all the shades in there. Um, now I'm taking my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist and I'm spraying that onto the tops of my cheeks. Um, I get about two or three sprays and then going over those areas with my Damp Beauty Blender as well. And that's just gonna push the product into that area before we layer a little bit more of the Starlight Illuminator on top. And this is just gonna make it really kind of stand out and be bam like in your face highlight. Um, which is definitely something that I've been loving for a long, long time. Um, moving on to lips, I'm taking my MAC Lip Liner in the shade Saw. And as always, I'm aligning my lips and then also filling them in. And this is just gonna help your lipstick last a lot longer. And I wanted to go for a nude because, you know, the eyes are pretty intense. So on top of that, I went over with the Maybelline Nude Embrace Lipstick. This is a really beautiful, comfortable matte color. And I think I actually used this same lip combo in my last Eid tutorial, um, but I just love this combo of nude. So once I'm done with that, we're gonna set all of the makeup in place. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray giving my face a good spray before moving on to the final step, which is lashes. So for lashes, I use these Velour Fluff and Dolled Up Lashes. These are beautiful. They're very, very light, but very intense. And this, you guys, is the final makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I loved creating this like super dramatic look for Eve. I know a lot of people were suggesting quite a natural look, but I don't know, something in me was just like, no, let's go glam or go home. So <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I just wanna wish everyone a happy Eid for everyone and anyone who is celebrating. I hope you have a wonderful day and weekend with family and friends. And I guess that's all for now, you guys. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.